Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. This is actually going to be a video that has been requested a couple times and I just uh, haven't had the time to come around and make it. So I figured I'd go ahead and do it now just before it gets too, uh, too late in the game. Uh, I know some people um, are probably waiting on this to uh, make some purchases and things like that. So as you guys can see by the title, this is basically going to be on how to switch out the lenses on a pair of Oakley Juliet's. Now, if you guys don't know, the uh, the Juliet's are um, one of uh, Oakley's best-selling pair of glasses. I have two examples here. Um, you know, uh, these are my two Juliet's. These are actually custom frames. What makes them so special is that this is an all-titanium frame, which is really nice. So it's a very sturdy frame. Um, you know, they've been around for over 10 years. And uh, if you guys don't know, in the sunglass market, um, anything over two to three years is actually a long time for one particular model to be out. So obviously, you know, being out for 10 years uh, kind of tells you, you know, a lot of people really like it. And it's, uh, it's basically been unchanged for all that time. You know, it's still uh, made from the same materials in the same way that it was made uh, when, it, you know, the first year it came out. So, um, you know, what's really cool about these is that uh, they have in the middle piece right here, in the nose piece, they have these things that are called flex couplers. And what they do is they allow the frame to actually flex um, to actually fit you better. So uh, a drawback of that is because they're uh, kind of made out of plastic, after a while, depending on how much you wear the frame, they actually tend to wear out. But what's cool about it is uh, Oakley will actually replace those for free. Um, all you have to do is send them in the frames and they'll kind of do an overhaul on that. So um, a lot of people have questions on how to switch out the lenses on the uh, Oakley Juliet's, and that's because you can't switch them out like you would on a regular pair of plastic frames where you, you just pop out the, the lenses out of the frame. They actually have these screws screws right in here at the hinge and uh, you have to actually unscrew it right there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and take these out so you guys can see um, you know just kind of give you a little um, guide right there so basically what you're gonna have to do is just get yourself a screwdriver um, this is just your you know standard uh, you know screw screwdriver where you can change the bits out and actually what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a, uh, a t6 bit for this so um, you know just go ahead and find yourself a uh, t6 that's what this is here and um, so it's a Torx, you know, if you guys don't know what T6 is, Torx 6-bit, um, all right? And that's it right there. And uh, first thing you're going to want to do is um, go ahead and find the screw there, and you're going to start unscrewing it. Now, just be very careful when you unscrew it that you don't strip the screw. They are a little bit um, delicate, so, you know, they tend to be to strip if you're trying to switch them out a lot. So just keep, you know, keep even pressure on there and then the frame will actually pop out as you see right there now another thing that's very important and let me see if this will focus in on there right in the middle there there's actually a um, it's kind of like a unobtainium or a rubber washer and basically what that's used is um, you know to kind of fill the gap so the frame you know so you're not touching metal to metal you got to make sure that you keep an eye on that because that's it's very very thin and it has to be in there for the uh, the frame to close correctly so after you do that the, the easiest thing to do is uh, you know sometimes the the screw will actually stay stuck in there depending on how long it's been inside there what I actually want to do is I want to go ahead and take them out just because, um, you know, I, I don't want to lose it by mistake. So if I do take it out, I know that it's going to, you know, um, fall out on the surface here. And I'll be able to keep an eye on it. So as you guys can see there, um, the screw fell out. And there it is. So just keep it somewhere where you know it's safe. And then basically all you do is just pull the frame apart a little bit. And then with your fingers behind there, just pop the lenses. And the lenses come out just like that. So as you guys can see, um, I don't know if you can make it out. Let me see if I can focus it again. See, there's that black gasket little... Um, rubber washer thing there so you know just uh, you know make sure that that stays in place and like I said depending on how long it's been since you switched out the lenses or whatnot it, it'll usually be kind of like you know set in place so um, basically if you're gonna switch the lenses off for another color or you know the same ones just because they're scratch or whatnot just go ahead and stick it back in there it'll pop right back into place just make sure it sits in the grooves all the way around uh, grab your screw and then sit sit it in there and get your screwdriver and then just screw it back in. And again, just as you did when you were screwing it out, just make sure that it's, um, you know, you keep even pressure so that you don't strip the screw. And actually, hand tightening will be just enough. Uh, you don't want to over tighten it because you run the risk of actually cracking the lens um, right at the point at the point there where it meets the uh, the frame. So the same thing goes for the other side uh, if you want to switch it out. And the cool thing is the T6 will actually um, screw right here the uh, legs on the frame so if by any chance they get weak or whatnot you can actually screw those too it's also a t6 screw there 
So um, that's basically the way to switch out the lenses on a pair of Juliet's. And then obviously once you're done, just grab yourself your uh, microfiber cloth and go ahead and uh, clean out the lens. Just make sure there's no... Uh, you know, there's no creaking or cracking or anything like that to make sure that the lens was seated in, in the grooves correctly, and you'll be ready to go. All right, guys, I hope that explained it, and let me know if you guys have any other questions, all right? Thanks.